Welcome, my name is Kristen and I'm a California State Park Interpreter filming here at the Oceano Dune State Vehicular Recreation Area. And today I'm standing in this beautiful dune landscape where we're gonna learn moles that call this dune habitat home. Now students, before we dive deeper into this topic, let's take a 360 view of these coastal sand dunes. As you take a look at these coastal sand dunes, think about how animals can use their surroundings to survive in this harsh, dry and sandy dune environment. What might animals use for shelter? Where would they get water? Where would they find food to eat? Animals who live in this dune environment have learned over time to survive in this habitat through adaptations. Scientists use the word adaptations to describe how animals make changes to their behavior over time to survive in their specific habitats. Let's begin with one of my favorite animals who has learned to survive and adapt in this coastal dune habitat called the kangaroo rat. Kangaroo rats have adapted to survive in the sandy, windy, and little to no rain dune environment through a variety of adaptations. Kangaroo rats have learned over time of how to adapt to survive in this environment. Let's learn about a few of the adaptations of the kangaroo rat by beginning with the adaptation of not needing to drink fresh water. It certainly can be a challenge finding fresh drinking water in the dune environment due to the very little rainfall that occurs during certain months of the year. However, the kangaroo rat has adapted to not need drinking water, but rather obtain moisture from seeds. Seeds are important to the kangaroo rat because they not only fulfill their hunger, but also hydration. To better understand this adaptation, let's take a look at another adaptation of the kangaroo rat, which is the behavior of burrowing. Kangaroo rats burrow underground to provide protection from the elements of this dune habitat and also a place to store seeds. Kangaroo rats are nocturnal and gather seeds at night, hopefully when predators are asleep. Once kangaroo rats gather seeds, they will store them in their cheeks before bringing them back to their underground burrow. Now let's return to the adaptation of not needing drinking water. Seeds gathered by kangaroo rats are stored underground and are like sponges in a sense, absorbing all the moisture that kangaroo rats need to stay hydrated. Through this adaptation, kangaroo rats do not need to drink water, but rather eat seeds full of moisture. Let's explore one more adaptation of the kangaroo rat. To understand this adaptation, I'd like for you to think of what a kangaroo is good at. If you are thinking jumping, you are correct. Now, I want you to think about the name kangaroo rat, and I want you to think what they also might be good at. If you are thinking jumping again, you are correct. Kangaroo rats are excellent jumpers. They can jump up to heights of nine feet to escape predators such as snakes. I am about five feet, eight inches tall, so kangaroo rats could definitely jump over me. Now, how do kangaroo rats jump so high? Well, their bodies have adapted over time. Kangaroo rats can jump incredible heights by tucking in their front legs and using the force of their large hind legs to jump. Once they are set in motion, their elongated tail acts like a steering wheel. The kangaroo rat has some pretty impressive adaptations to help them survive in the dune habitat. And until next time, this is Kristen.